reporting, checking in on the one I banded. He's over here chilling and uh, stay leaving him alone for now. He was cruising with a minute ago, so that's a good sign. Hopefully he'll be feeding when it's time to eat, which will be probably tomorrow. I'm gonna be doing a hand feeding uh, for the juvenile rescues. So stay, stick around my friends. Updates every couple days on this guy at least. We're rooting for you. <laughs> rooting for you, buddy. Hello and welcome back, my friends. Another episode of a Bearski Method. Today we have a couple of, well, first timers. Uh, very first time we're going to attempt <laughs> feed a, uh, the adults as well as the rescues a rat. Yeah, it's the first time I haven't fed him a rat. I've used other rodents lists, such as chipmunks and squirrels, but never a rat. This rat. I bought these rats at a store. Picked them up at Petco because right now it's wintery months. It really is uh, dropped a few inches of snow. It's kind of hard to find anything out there right now. And just recently they had some chubs, so we gotta you know keep it a variety. And as a matter of fact, if uh, you really are concerned about the best you know well-being of your carnivorous companions, piranhas, variety is crucial, my friends. You cannot feed them over and over the same thing. And definitely don't feed them any type of table food or processed food such as hot dogs. I mean, some of you are probably catching on where I'm going with this. Anyway, like I said before, the nature should show you the path, the surety of the way, and you don't have to get confused about what is what. Um, you know, just keep it logical. You know, leave the feelings out and just be logical. Anyway, we are going to introduce a rat full body red, frozen, unfrozen, thaw out <laughs> into each of the tanks, including the Kariba. I just had some water and cleaned that again. Stick around, my friends. This will be probably, as I mentioned before, you know, one of the first on this channel. There's been a lot of Piranha versus kind of started the trend and yeah, you know, I don't know. It's a, it seems like a good source of nutrients either way. Now, I don't really prefer getting, you know, food from the lab or some sort of farm or something like that. Most of, you have 90% of the food I use for my ranas are wild caught, you know, naturally sourced. However, we're gonna start with a rat from a pack <laughs> and then see how it goes to so stick around. All right, everybody, it's about that time. We're going to introduce a rat for the very first time. So, piranha versus rat, rat debut. Here it comes. It's a medium or large size rat, and sure enough, we're going to see if the rescue piranha pack would like a rat for dinner. All right, he's going in, and he's in. Okay. I'm holding on to the tail. Right there, he's on the bottom, he's holding on to a big chunk. There you go, he's sharing. He's sharing, he's on your left. He's sharing with another guy right there. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a good sign. I guess the uh, one eyed injured guy was feeding indeed. There's a chance he will pull through.
goes again. He's going for another bite. One eye killer. He didn't get this time. He's coming back again. Here we go. He's latching onto a foot. Look at him. Oh, no, he let go. He's got an ear. He's got an ear. Watch. He's just tearing it up. <laughs> little by little, he's staying alive, my friends. This red has almost filled up the pack now. Dump it into the other tank and see what the uh, adults will manage. All right, let's back it up. All right, we're gonna leave the leftovers to the adults. Once again, I'm gonna hold on to it for as long as I can. Although last time that didn't work that well with these guys because they're so much stronger. They ripped it right out of my hand. Oh, here we go. Oh, so far no. They don't like you be hand fed. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There's a top. There's a thing. Watch out for my fingers. Oh, that's awesome. If you catch you, you can try to stay out of the way. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, wow, that's awesome. Can you grab mine and look at this head? Shut yours and grab mine. Whoa, look at that. She's just pulling it out of the water almost. It's awesome. Look at that. Half of red left. All the ribs, everything, they just ripped it right all apart. Oh my goodness. It was awesome. They're still tearing up the rest. Wonder if they're gonna come back. Return for this. A little bit left. I believe that's the skull and they're still ripping it. So dynamic. Here to find him. It's front center. Once more. Often copied, never duplicated. Mother Nature at its best. Finish this in a minute or so. Look 
see that there's almost nothing left. Just a tail. <laughs> We'll let them finish off in peace, tearing into the last leftovers of the rat. There's a tail, here's the rest. They're splitting it up. Like I said, momentarily, there won't be nothing left. Nothing. <laughs> Raiding with their trophies. And there it goes, my friends. Piranha versus rat. Concluded. All right, my friends, <laughs> I got to say, this was, uh, you know, as, as I predicted, it was going to be a violent feeding, but even though the rat was dead, yeah, so still, it still was a dynamic feeding. You saw the brutality and the turns that the pack takes, who starts, who finishes, who's next, you know, sort of a collaboration dynamic and uh, pack hierarchy, you know, all of that can only be achieved in sort of natural settings, so natural environment. Um, and again, using a natural form of bait or prey, whatever you want to call it, food source, as natural as it is out there in the world, not in the shape of hot dogs or chicken drums or something like that. Anyway, I will see you on the next one, my friends. I enjoy you know, sharing this with you. I really appreciate you stopping by and watching. And um, well, for those of you that are new here, my name is Marek. Everyone calls me Bear Bearski. And this is the channel about laws of nature.